Hey, what's the matter? I don't know. I think I have a flat. All right. Well, let's check it out. Oh yeah, it's definitely flat. Well, what do I do now? That's a good question. All right, first thing we're gonna do is get your bike in its smallest gear. So we're gonna shift, lift up, pedal the bike. All right, set it back down. Good. Well, next we have to get the wheel out. So let's open up a quick release and unthread it a little bit. I'm just gonna lift it back up and the wheel's gonna fall right out. I'll use my right hand to open up the derailleur a little bit and the wheel is free. Now it's good to have a partner with you, but if you don't have a partner, you can just lay the bike down. Make sure you have the gears side up. So go ahead and lay the bike down. All right, let's get to work and figure out where our flat is. It's a good thing we brought our tools. Let's take off our tool kit and see what we brought along. It's important to carry only the essentials when you're riding. Spare tube, tire lever, inflator with a cartridge in the bottom, a spare cartridge, and the all important patch kit. Then I'm gonna use my tire lever and we're gonna pull one side of the tire off. Why just one side? Well, we wanna, don't wanna take the whole tire off. It's not really necessary. So you just pop the tire lever in, run it around the side. Notice my valve stem is even with my label. That way I know where the tube was within the tire so that when I put my finger in the inside and look for what maybe caused the puncture, we'll know exactly where it was on the tube and tire. All right, now we're gonna take the tube out, see if we can figure out where the puncture is. I'm gonna grab my CO2 cartridge, put a little air in there. Oh, I hear it, I hear it. There it is. What's known as a snake bite. See the two little holes here? I'm not gonna change the tube. I think we're gonna try and patch it today. So to patch it, we'll use this little super patch kit from Park Tool. First things first. Open it up, get all the guts out. We've got sandpaper and glueless patches. We'll take one of these, one of these, we're gonna sand the spot. Let's see if we can find that little snake bite again. So we're gonna sand the area where we have the snake bite so that the glue has something to stick to. And then we'll take the glueless patch Pop it right on. Put lots of pressure on there, make a nice seal. Good as new. Let's put it back in the tire. All right, we're gonna put the tube in the same orientation it was in before. I'm gonna start with the valve. I'm gonna work my way around. We still have a little bit of air left in this from when we glued the patch back in. Just work it around to make sure it's in nice and evenly with no kinks. See, all the way around. Right, now we're gonna press the bead back into the rim so we can remount the tire. I like to start at the valve stem and work my way all the way around. You don't actually need tools for this. You can just use your hands, see? There it is, it's back in. I'm gonna make sure it's seated properly, that there's no tube sticking out underneath the tire, the tire bead. And let's put some air in there. Good to go. Getting the wheel back in is just a reverse of what we did before. So if you have a helper, they can hold the bike, you wanna make sure that you get the chain and set 
lined up. Then line up your disc rotor and set the bike down. Now we're gonna give it a few turns, make sure it's hand tight. Close the quick release. Give it a spin. All set. All right, we fixed your tube, now what? Let's ride. All right. <laughs>